taking a really long time. Just hang in there and try not to talk unless you really have to. It can affect the images. What was that? Hello, are you still there? I think there's something wrong with the machine. It's not the machine. It's an earthquake. Hold on, we'll get you out. Get me out now! She's hallucinating. I certainly hope so. Abby. Hi. Where's my mom? She went down to get some breakfast. How are you feeling? Well, besides the fact that I can barely breathe and I ache all over, not good. Anything I can do? Just don't go. I'm not going anywhere. It's been a while since we've gone more than a day without doing that. What did you say? I've been thinking. Perhaps since we went more than a day without doing that. You don't need to answer right now, but... Abby, I want to marry you. Tell him the secret. It's okay. Something's wrong. What? Abby, what are you feeling? I don't know. Your secret is killing you. I see, um... Maybe it's all the medication. I was just, um... Abby, can you hear me? You deserve to die. We need four milligrams of lorazepam. While you watch video clips, a computer maps how your brain processes the images. How long will it take? Six hours, but that's really just the prep. Once the computer maps how she processes the information, we'll put under twilight sedation. Use the same equipment to monitor her unconscious thoughts. Hopefully, it'll spit out a very basic video of whatever's going on in her head. What will that tell you? Hopefully, it'll give us a clue as to where your brain thinks the problem is. A lot of hopefullys. Could it hurt her? Where did diagnostic dead end? We've got to try something. Can you think of something specific? Like what? Doesn't matter, just make it a single image. What are you thinking? About Nick playing baseball? Holy crap. That's amazing. Yeah. 
Now all we have to do is read her subconscious and hope that it's completely rational when we went to med school. Does anything get you excited? Well, it's taken us just over an hour to prove that she has a very boring subconscious. Anyone ever tell you you can be a real buzzkill? Yes. yes. Stars? Maybe that's a stripe? It's the sky. She's thinking about the moon and the stars in the sky. And she's going to Stanford to study physics. It's not a big revelation that she'd think about the sky. Oh, star could be a white blood cell. Leukemia? Who's that? Her dad? He died when she was eight. What did daddy die of? A um, private plane crash, no connection. Stars, moon, sky, white blood cells, heart valves, black holes, or anus, or a million other circular passageways into the body. And her dad. What do you think it means? She likes school, and she has daddy issues. Neither of which helps us. I was gonna head out. Uh, if there's any change, I assume you'll page me. Are you having an affair? Does it bother you that your wife doesn't have the guts to actually ask that question, and I do? On both ends, yes. Difference is, I'm not afraid of the answer. And I might believe you. I'm not having an affair. But you want to. No, I don't. I'm through living like that. Why? Well, you finally got to the point where half your age plus seven isn't young enough. Talk to you later, House. Or is it because you now really are old enough to be there? The dad. Does he travel for work? What do you mean, does he? He died almost 10 years ago. Not hers, her boyfriend's. He's the one in her visions. I'm your son's girlfriend's doctor. Oh. It's a mouthful, but probably not as tricky as your title. Um, okay. Is that gonna be all right? You travel a lot? Yeah, I have a food import business. Why? Where'd you go? All over France, Italy, the Mediterranean. Why? I think you exposed her to a parasite. Oh. I thought the scans didn't show any. She doesn't have any. But you just said, it's cool. My theory is that her body was able to kill off the parasite. But what it couldn't do was get rid of the shell, which doesn't show up on the scans. That little piece of microscopic garbage set off an allergic reaction called cerebellar schistosomiasis delayed hypersensitivity allergy. Or cuz Risky, unpleasant treatment, but completely curable. Well, that's fantastic. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Only thing is, did you ever have sex with your son's girlfriend? Where the hell do you get off asking Shut me? Shut up. See, I can't treat this unless I can confirm it. And the only way she could have been exposed to this parasite is sexually, which means she's gonna die very soon unless you admit that you slept with her. Dad, what's going on? She is as bad. She didn't have to choose between her living and the truth becoming public. And frankly, given what the truth is, it's a tough call. You'd broken up. She was crying. Your girlfriend is now allergic to your semen. She's allergic to the Egyptian parasites swimming around in your dad's semen. You slept with Abby? I was drunk. We both 
No need to explain. Technically, she was legal. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, all things considered, it's actually great news. <laughs>